Welcome to another Fortress Power video. Today, we introduce the eFlex Max and guide you through its easy installation and commissioning procedures. To start, you'll need these simple installation tools along with basic electrician tools. Carefully bring the eFlex Max to the project site and unbox it using a small box cutter. Unpack all the contents and let's get started. These are all the parts and contents that comes with the eFlex Max. Make sure you have everything before we go to the next step. Using the provided carton wall mount template, mark the four outside holes on the wall and trace the middle beveled square. Ensure the template is level. Drill the holes and use either the included wood screws or expansion screws to secure the mounting bracket to the wall. Double check that the bracket is level before continuing. For this video, we'll install the battery in a horizontal position. If you prefer a vertical installation, please refer to the manual. Mount the hexagonal socket head cap screw on the top of the wall bracket, leaving enough space to mount the anchor on the battery side. Next, use the T-bolts to secure the mounting anchor to the battery side. Make sure the anchor is installed all the way to the top of the battery and secured tightly. Install the back support on the back of the battery, ensuring it's level and secured tightly. Carefully lift the battery and hang it on the wall over the hexagonal socket head cap screws. This can be done with one or two people, as the battery weighs about 100 pounds. Secure the hexagonal socket head cap screws. Next, install and secure the included flexible bus bar into the positive and negative terminals, paralleling the batteries. You can parallel up to four batteries. If you need more, use a combining bus bar to connect each group of batteries. Screw in the bus bar bottom protector and the one and a quarter inch threaded conduit fitting. Plug in the communication cables between batteries by inserting the RJ45 plug into the port. Twist the knob to prevent any water ingress. The E-Flex Max terminates the communication internally, so no terminator is needed on each end. Carefully bring the MV10KW inverter and unbox it. Fix the wall bracket and mount the inverter. Open the electrical cabinet and route the battery to inverter communication cable. Plug the communication cable into the battery COM port of the Envy. Connect the battery positive and negative terminals to the inverter. Install the Guardian to remotely monitor your batteries and perform OTA firmware updates. Plug the Guardian's green cable into the second port of the two-way RJ45 splitter shared with the battery-to-inverter communication cable. Tighten the knob to secure the communication cable and connect the positive and negative cables to the primary battery, the battery directly communicating with the inverter. Before installing the top cover, remove only the necessary pre-cut holes using electrician scissors and a rubber mallet.
Finish by screwing in the middle bus bar cover and top covers for both batteries. To commission, turn on all battery breakers. including the battery breaker inside the inverter's electrical cabinet. Next, turn on the primary battery by pressing and holding the push button until you hear a beep. If paralleled correctly, all batteries should turn on. After the inverter's LCD boots up, place the inverter in standby. Navigate to the advanced section and choose battery profile number 18 to initiate closed loop communication with the batteries. Confirm when you see the SOC and battery voltage on the home screen. For off-grid applications, repeat this process and enable Run Without Grid in the Advanced section. Congratulations! You have successfully installed and commissioned your ESS solution. If you have any questions, call our tech support number or email us at techsupport at fortresspower.com. Thank you for choosing Fortress Power. Secure your energy and see you on the next one.